and welcome to the 8th edition of San Patricio Fest here in Mexico City. Celebrating the life of the patron saint of Ireland, St. Patrick, and also the Battalion de San Patricio. The Battalion de San Patricio, or St. Patrick's Battalion, was a group of Irish and other European immigrants who fought on the side of Mexico during the Mexican-American War in the mid-19th century. Led by John Riley, the battalion was composed mostly of Irish Catholics who fled oppression in their home country and found a new cause in fighting against the United States. Despite facing discrimination and hostility from their fellow Americans, the San Patricio was fought bravely for Mexico, earning a reputation as some of the fiercest and most skilled soldiers in the conflict. Ultimately, however, they were defeated and many were executed for their actions. Today, the San Patricios are remembered as a symbol of Irish and Mexican solidarity, and their story has become a powerful example of the sacrifices that people will make in the pursuit of justice and freedom. So folks, we've just arrived here at the start of the parade, just here in Coyoacan. Have a lot of people wearing green, and got their hats on, have a look around. So it looks like it's up ahead here. Let's see if we can get a nice place to watch the parade from, folks. So we've got Scottish dancing bands here. We've got guys in sort of medieval costume. This here. It's the final day of the San Patricio Fest, which has taken place over the last week. There has been several events, um, sort of focused around the Museo de Intervenciones, which is close to here. That's where the parade's going to finish today. So we're starting off here in the main park in Coyacan. Hola. Hola.
So hi guys, we're here at the San Patricio's Festival here in Mexico City, in Coyacan. <laughs> and I'm just uh, I'm gonna have a little chat here with um, your name, sorry? Hi, my name is Ivan. Ivan, okay, I'm here with Ivan and... Nice to meet you, Mark. Nice to meet you, yes, yes, out of <laughs> So you're with the Mexico City Pipes and Drums, is that right? Yeah, that's it, yes. So it's a band, uh, we're three pipes and two drums and we're getting bigger and uh, it's, I don't know, we have like six years playing together and it's something that you really join us because they because we love the Irish and Scottish music yes. here in Mexico and uh, we unfortunately don't have any relatives in this lifetime yes. <laughs> so because a lot of people ask me yes. where do I get this love to the back yes exactly I was gonna so, ask the same question yeah I don't know ever since I was a little child I used to listen to the bagpipes in I don't know in movies or cartoons or anything and I went crazy totally crazy so then I grew up and I had the opportunity to go to live to England I lived in London for a while in Edinburgh and then in Glasgow okay. so that's where I learned how to play the bagpipes so you, yes you learned in yeah. Scotland and England yeah okay. then I came back to Mexico and started playing with uh, with my master um, his name is Cesar Ramirez and uh, he's uh, a Spanish guy who plays the uh, uh, the Spanish bagpipes and the Scottish bagpipes as well okay. and um, then then we we joined all the band together and we started playing and we have like six, six years playing together yes yeah yeah is it difficult to learn the bagpipes yes it is yes. quite difficult yeah. you know because uh, even in Scotland it's hard to to learn well living in Mexico it, it is even uh, well it is more difficult to learn because you have to watch videos on YouTube or you have to, uh, I don't know, have uh, someone um, in there who can teach you and um, remotely or anything. Yes. And um, well, but but it is the way I learned. Yes. yes. <laughs> with with books and all that. Yes. Yeah. Do you have competitions here in Mexico City? Do you have? other bands yeah we have uh, we are two bands here in Mexico okay. it is uh, us that uh, our name is um, Banda de Gaitas Ciudad de Mexico okay. um, uh, which transla translated would be Mexico City bagpipes uh, bagpipe band okay. and the San Patricio bagpipe band and um, in honor to the battalion that came to 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 battle against um, the United States in a in a war, and uh, we are only these two bands, and we unfortunately don't have the, the competitions. Yes, yet. <laughs> no, there's, there's no other bands in the rest of Mexico. Um, no, no we're on, two. only the two of us. Yeah, yes, here in Mexico City. Yes, yeah. um, but we can play all over the Mexican Republic. <laughs> yes. Do you ever play anywhere else? Do you ever go to UK or America, USA? Uh, no, not no? yet. No, not yet. no, we haven't played yet uh, in there. Uh, we yeah. only play here in Mexico. Yes. Yes. We play in many, many places. Okay. In Mexico. Yes. Well, um, yes. Thanks for your time, Ivan. Thank you very much. Uh, mucho gusto. Um, mucho gusto. Yes. Check them out. I'll put the link in the socials. I'll put the link in the description um, of their. Uh, social media. Yep. So you can check them out, guys. Yep. So that's it for now. For now. So thank you, you very much. Yes. Yes. Nice yes, to meet you. yes. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much.
¿Qué tal? Estamos en la fiesta de San Patricio aquí en Coyoacán, enfrente del Museo de Intervenciones. Intervenciones. Sí. Exacto, aquí en México. En México. La ciudad de México, en Coyoacán. Ciudad de México, Coyoacán, aquí estamos. Un saludo a nuestros amigos de Irlanda que nos están viendo. Saludos desde la Ciudad de México. These gunshots are actually from the original battle of North America. Let's have a look. So folks, I have been advised there is somebody giving a Guinness somewhere. I see people drinking Guinness, so I'll have to go and find this Guinness around here somewhere. I found the Guinness truck. There he is there. Oh you beauty. There's a bit of a line for it, a bit of a queue. So hi guys, um, what, what are your names? Um, where do you come from? I'm Banya. Banya? Banya. Okay. And Siegfried. Siegfried? Siegfried, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> not so Irish? No? Not so Irish? Well, they, we are Mexicans and Swiss. Swiss Mexicans? Swiss Mexicans both? No. no. Okay. Uh, my family is from Switzerland. Then I was going to say, you look Irish with the, the, the we, beard. We are not so Irish, but, but well, we, are, well, we are Swiss and Mexicans. Swiss Mexicans? Yeah. So, when, when did your family come to Mexico? A long time ago? Or a long time ago, 50 years ago. Right, okay. Almost. Yeah. Yes, and your family, are they from? My family is half Spanish, half Russians. Right, okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but now we are Mexican. Mexican Irish. <laughs> Mexican Irish? <laughs> yeah. So, um, what got you interested in Irish culture or in Irish dancing? Uh, we were invited to a Kaylee. Uh, we started dancing like uh, maybe six years ago. Six years ago, and then we started with our own Kelly band. So you started, where did you first do this? In Mexico? Yes. Yes, here in Mexico. We started dance, dancing in a group, uh, an exhibition, an exhibit group of dancers. Then we started our own group, and then uh, the idea came to a uh, Kelly band. And so we are a Kelly band. Yes. yes. We are also members of of each society that is a society that uh, tries to represent all of these cultures here um, all the British cultures yeah. with the with Wales with Irish with Scotland and a little bit of England also yeah. oh yes <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we have yeah. to include them do we <laughs> 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 yeah. <I'm> sure yeah. <laughs> and now we have a Kaylee band uh, we are uh, two colors that we teach the people how to dance the the Kaylee and we have a lot of different songs we have uh, six musicians we, we have yeah. six, musicians six musicians and we are the colors colors and dancers okay. so while the music is on we teach them uh, the, the, the people how to dance and well we are all dancing with the with the band with the Kaylee band yeah Okay. With, the, with this party band. Yes. <laughs> so, do you do much touring? Do you go to different places? Do you go events? Yeah, sure. Yep. Sure. Yes. That's yep. uh, the main purpose. Yeah, we go for, um, I don't know, you have a birthday, we go for a birthday or weddings. We do a lot weddings? of weddings. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Celebrations. Social, yeah. Social celebrations. Yes. And what about competitions? Do you do competitions with other bands? Or uh, other? No. We Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. So, do you want to give us a little demonstration then? Do you want to do a little. Oh my ah, god! Sure, sure, sure. sure. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Taking the first one.
Very good, guys. Well, yes. A little bit of that. <laughs> yes. So, guys, if you want to get involved, if you want to see their guys, I'll put a link to their um, description. I'll put a link yeah. to your channels in the description. So, yeah. That's it for now, Thank folks. You very much. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes. Thank you very much. So, Falcha, welcome, bienvenidos, everybody. Hola. Uh, hola. Viva so, Mexico. Viva Mexico, Irlanda. Irlanda. Viva. Yes. Viva San Patricio. Viva, Viva San Patricio. St. Patrick. St. Patrick. Patrick, yes. So, <laughs> folks, where are we today? We are, we are in Mexico and uh, Cuyacán. Cuyacán, exactly. Museo Nacional de las Intervenciones. The exactly. National Museum of Interventions, like that's where the yes, okay, the different wars in Mexico and the battalion, the St. Patrick's Battalion participated in that war, the War of Intervention, right. with the Americans back in 1844, wasn't it? It's uh, 1847. 47. 47. 47. Can you tell me a bit about that, about the battalion de San Well, what happened with them is they they left Ireland during the Grand Famine, and when they arrived in the United States, the jobs that they were able to get was in the the army that the, the new United States had. Oh, that's great. So they went there and they were the, the battalion of St. Patrick's under John O'Reilly. He was from Clifton originally. Clifton near Galway? That's right, Clifton. Right. The next thing they got the order to invade Mexico. And they said, no, hold on a second. That's a country like ourselves, Catholic, you know, no. So they turned a bit. I don't think they actually ever fought a, a direct battle. But what happened was when the Americans came into Mexico City and they were putting the flag up over the uh, Chapultepec Castle, they decided in Barranca del Muerto, in Rio Churubusco, which is here nearby, to hang some of the artist guys. And the other guys, they, they sort of, what would you get? They put the thing on their faces. The yeah, hot iron on the sheik. Hot sheik's. iron on the sheiks. Yes. And they let them go. So that was the day that the few Irish were hung in nearby, and there's a Plaza del Casinto there. There's a plaque there of the St. Patrick's Battalion. I came here uh, over maybe two months ago uh, with my wife and my daughter. Uh, Do you, your wife is Mexican? Yes, she's from Mexico yes. City. So where did you meet? Uh, we met in my local bar in Cork City called the Chenet. Uh, we met on, uh, I think it was a Wednesday night, and I invited uh, her friend and herself uh, on a road trip to uh, Doolin in County Clare. Oh, uh, and we nice. got to know each other more over the duration of the holiday. Uh, when we got back to Cork, uh, we started meeting up and the relationship blossomed. We got married a year, year and a half ago, and had a baby uh, almost nine months ago. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and also, may I add, there's a Murphy uh, surname in uh, the San Patricios as well, and I'm looking into the link. There might be a, a direct link to my lineage and uh, the person that was involved. This city, uh, Mexico, I'm coming so many years with my wife. Every time I come here, it, it offers more and more and more and indeed. certainly the people are very friendly here. I know some big cities get bad pers personas about dangerous parts and barriers yes. and stuff. Yeah, you have that, uh, that goes on everywhere but I think it's hyped up. Other nations kind of say that just to get people not to come here but it is a very very safe and very beautiful city. And I will keep coming here because the Mexican people, they are certainly like the Irish people. They're very friendly, yes. warm. We are brothers. Yes, yeah. we are brothers. <laughs> Same, my brother no, no. from Same. another mother. We need an, a real Irish man to own a bar in Mexico City. Yes, exactly. And um, can you tell me about your uniform? What does this record, what does this signify? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. First of all, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, and Mark. Especially today. Yes. In the St. Patrick's Fest here in Mexico City. Okay. I'm from Mexico City. It's my hometown. Right. Uh, I've been honored last year in the October the 30th, and because they provide me this honor to name me a distinguished knight of the illustrious Order of St. Patrick's, based on the order founded by the King uh, George III in 1783. And here in Mexico, to keep the spirit is to become brothers and you know, share culture between people. And these colors, the reason is because this blue used to be the color of St. Patrick's. And these colors, this blue and this white, are the colors of the Virgen de Guadalupe as well. So we are brothers in a religion as well. So then after a while, the St. Patrick's image turned into green. So in, in my order, they uh, took these colors, and of course the, the batch. Yes. <coughs> so it's uh, separate rabbit. Is that Latin? Nobody can uh, put non, us apart. None so separate. Always will be together. Yes. Okay. And these beans, 
it's a story for another clip. <laughs> it's a long <laughs> one. clip. On the... <laughs> we will go to the bar and discuss that. Yes. <laughs> and uh, supposedly to be only 50 members, I the number 33. Huh? But I don't know if we create or expand after we go to the member number 50. So okay. let's see. But we are brothers, we hang around, we spend good time, make new friends like today, yes. and share what we know, okay. and we live in peace and in freedom. Harmony. That's what we need right now, nowadays. Yes, absolutely. Oh, we've got a little um, Irish, yes. Irish Mexican Irish. baby here. She's Hello. new in the family. <laughs> new, yes. New addition, Olin Sersha. Do you want to wave to the camera? Yes. Do you want to say hola? Hello. We say casa is my casa. Right. And <laughs> yes. Well, thanks, folks, for. It's great. For, it's a yes. pleasure. And thank you, uh -huh. Mark. Yes. Keep up the good job, the good work. Thank yes. You. And yeah, if you like the video, folks, subscribe down below, hit the like button. And yeah, we'll see you soon. Yeah, come to Mexico. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Feliz Day de St. Patricio. Boyacan, Mexico City. Yes. Yeah. Bye. Slan. Bye. <laughs>